When surveillance footage shows you firing a weapon at a man in New York City, it's pretty hard to prove your innocence. But I'll tell you what's even harder, being a rapper and a gang member caught on surveillance killing a man. This is the tragic case of Bronx rapper K. Flock, who has spent the last year locked up behind bars. And from the looks of what's happening to him in prison, he may be staying there for a while. Keep watching till the end of this video to find out what's really happening to K. Flock in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. K. Flock Arrested On December 23, 2021, New York rapper K. Flock made headlines after he was arrested for allegedly shooting and killing a man. The headlines of that fateful day read, Teenage gunman faces murder charges after slaying a man at Harlem Barbershop. It wasn't until official details were released that fans realized that the gunman was in fact the 18 years old Kevin Purs, aka K Flock. As seen on a wanted poster issued by the New York City Police Department, on December 16th, 2021, at approximately 9.53, the above pictured individual, also known as k Flock, did discharge a 9mm firearm at the victim, causing the victim's demise in front of 1836 Amsterdam Avenue in New York, New York, in the confines of the 30th Precinct. According to reports, k Flock had gone to the barber's shop at about 10 a.m. that morning while taking a walk with his girlfriend. The rapper stopped by the barber's shop to talk with someone in the shop. Just as he left the store, k Flock bumped into a man identified as Oscar Hernandez. In no time, an argument ensued between the two, right in front of the barber's shop. It didn't take a while before the verbal altercations between the two men became bloody. k Flock pulled out his gun and shot Oscar Hernandez in the neck and back before fleeing the scene. The horrific incident happened less than 500 feet from a police station, so the cops were quickly alerted and a warrant was issued for K. Flock's arrest. Oscar Hernandez was rushed to Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. A couple of hours after the incident, the authorities released a photograph from surveillance that showed the alleged shooter. However, it was pretty difficult to identify K. Flock as the shooter at the time. The shooter, as seen in the photograph, was dressed in a hooded jacket and a face mask, making it difficult to identify him. However, the rumors that spread around social media after the shooting were that K. Flock was the man in the picture. No one really knew why K. Flock and Hernandez got into the heated argument. However, the family of Hernandez revealed that he never knew K. Flock while he was alive, so it was unclear what could have made him attack K. Flock. The authorities, however, believed that K. Flock shot Hernandez due to a gang rivalry, as Hernandez was said to be a member of the Bronx-based Third Side Gang. What's really happening to K. Flock in jail? Rapper K. Flock was held without bond, and after over a year in prison, his case is beginning to gain some traction. Quite recently, K. Flock and five other men were indicted on federal racketeering and murder charges. According to the indictment, K. Flock and these five men are members of the Sev Side Gang, a street based gang in the Bronx which also goes by the name DOA. Three alleged members of the opposing Bronx Street Gang, dubbed Third Side, were also indicted, and it was revealed that there had been a long rivalry between them. According to the authorities, they believe the killing of Hernandez was gang-related, and in the wanted poster of K. Flock that was released, it was revealed that K. Flock was a member of the Sevside 700 DOA. The members of the gangs have had a long history of beef over the years, despite all members being from the Bronx. This made the case easier for the authorities to solve. Speaking on the indictment, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said, over a span of several years, the members of these gangs allegedly terrorized neighborhoods in the Bronx and Manhattan by killing and shooting other people. Through these charges, we will hold Sevside and Third Side members responsible for plaguing our communities with gun violence. While NYPD Commissioner Keechant L. Sewell added, the deadly nexus of gangs and illegal guns in New York City is a grave threat to public safety in our city. Combating this crisis is the NYPD's top priority, and today's indictments are another step toward ridding our street of violence and fear. Investigation of K. Flock's case 
the authorities were quick to investigate the deadly shooting. However, the first statement they released regarding the incident turned out to be false. While describing the details of the incident, the authorities claimed that Hernandez was sitting in a barber shop on Amsterdam Ave at West 151st Street shortly before 10 a.m., waiting to get a haircut. Perez, K. Flock, walked by, opened the shop door, and asked Hernandez what he was looking at. Hernandez then stepped outside to confront him, police said. The two argued and Perez started to walk away, but the teen pulled a gun and shot Hernandez in the neck and back. However, from the surveillance footage of the incident that was released, the police description of the story wasn't actually how it all played out. As seen in the footage, Hernandez actually confronted K. Flock and not the other way around. K. Flock was seen walking down the street with two young girls in the footage. Just a few seconds after he walked past the barber shop, a man who is believed to be Oscar Hernandez walked out of the shop and in the same direction as K. Flock. The footage, which had no sound, couldn't capture much after the man walked towards K. Flock's direction. But a few seconds after, shots were fired, and people rushed out of the barber shop to stare in the direction which K. Flock and Hernandez walked to. Shortly after K. Flock was arrested, his lawyer at the time, Scott Lehman, released a statement where he said, Yesterday, I accompanied Kevin as he self-surrendered to detectives in the 30th Precinct. Arrangements were immediately made with the NYPD once I learned he was wanted. However, Scott Lehman is no longer K. Flock's lawyer. The rapper is now being represented by Jeffrey Lichtman, who, after the indictment, said that K. Flock shooting Hernandez was a clear act of self-defense, especially since the surveillance footage showed that Hernandez was the one who attacked him first. Lichtman said, On video, it is crystal clear that Kevin was about to be shot after attempting to walk away from his attacker. Only then did Kevin use a weapon to defend himself and another from an armed, violent gang member who was about to pull the loaded gun in his hand. K. Flock is set to appear in court on March 9, 2023. K. Flock's Previous Arrest Rapper K. Flock may seem like one of the deadliest rappers out there right now, but surprisingly, he hasn't had too many troubles with the law before his current legal matters. In November 2021, a rumor hit social media claiming K. Flock was arrested and charged with firearm possession in New York. The arrest was announced via a YouTube channel where a man dressed like K. Flock claimed he had been arrested. Fans remained unsure whether he was actually arrested, but K. Flock made a post on his official Instagram that made fans believe he was actually arrested. According to K. Flock's post, he claimed that he always gets caught whenever he does anything wrong. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.